When you head to serenashades.com to order your Serena by Lutron Smart Shades, there are many different options available. Thanks to Lutron, they've sponsored today's video so I can show you many of these options to help you make a decision on which shades are right for you. Now, I'm no interior designer, but I do have many of them and I've used them so I can know a little bit about what might be best in certain areas in your home. Now, first let's talk about what all of these different shade options have in common. So the different options you have are the Smart Roller Shades, the Smart Wood Blinds, then you have the Smart Standard Honeycomb Shades, and then the Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shades. Now, all of these, no matter which option you go with, they all are compatible with the Lutron Smart Hub. This hub can connect up to 75 different devices, so you can control them all via the Lutron app. You can also set different routines and schedules where they can automatically operate. You can also connect each of these with the um, different smart assistants. You can connect them with Siri, Google Assistant, Alexa, and other smart home devices so that they can all integrate with the rest of your smart home. Now, each of these options is also very safe to have in your home. There's no pull cords or tilt wands. You can operate all of them via the app, the smart assistant, or you can use a Pico Smart Remote to control them, making them go up and down or open or close. Now with each of these shades, you do have two options to power them. One is you can have them battery powered. That means you can simply add in the batteries, put them up DIY style wherever you need them in your home, and they are gonna last for many years before you need to replace those batteries. And I've used those in the past and they've been such a great experience. The other option is you can have them wired where you can either use a plug or you can have them wired into your home. Now this is really only a great option if you are doing new construction and you want them fully integrated into your home. I've made a little video about how to do that if you're interested. And then all of these options are very quiet. So you're gonna have a great experience no matter which option you choose. They're gonna be very low in the sound level and then they all operate together in unison which is really, really neat. Now let's talk about the different ways in which you can mount these to your window. Now each window is going to be a little bit different, but there are three ways in which all of these shades can be mounted. The first option I'm gonna talk about is the inside mount. Now this is a nice clean look, but this really depends on how deep your window is if you can sit it inside of your window. So you would measure inside the window to get the appropriate dimensions for this. Now the next way to mount your shade is outside mount or on the frame. Now this most likely will apply to you if you don't have a deep window well. So here my windows are pretty deep. If you don't have much room there, you can mount it right above the window. So it's connected there and then the shade will operate not getting in the way of the window and having plenty of room to stay on its own. Now the third way in which you can mount your shade is outside mount above the frame. This has the most dramatic appeal to the shade. So is how you would mount this, is you would mount it above the frame here, and then you'd extend the length of them to go all the way to the edge of where kind of the bottom of your window sits here. You can see on my window, I have this little hangover, so I could match it up with that, and it would have this really nice big look. It makes the window look taller and so on, but we end up going with the inside mount because we like how clean that looks. All right, now that we've talked about what they all have in common, let's go in depth on the different shades and what is going to be useful for you in different scenarios. Here in the main living space of our home, we've chosen the Smart Roller Shades. Now with the Smart Roller Shades, you have three different options of fabric. You can choose sheer, which is pretty transparent. You can choose translucent, or you can choose blackout. Here we have the translucent fabric, which is really nice because in the middle of the day, if the sun's beating down in here, we can close the shades and it still allows a lot of light into the room, but it blocks those harsh sun rays. Then when we want the full window open, we can simply open them and there's nothing in the way. We really like how it opens up these really big windows and so we have a full display of what is out there. Let's head to the bedroom. Now here we chose the Smart Ruler shades with the translucent fabric as well, just so that we could open them up and have the full sun and be able to see out the window. And then when we wanted to dim and have privacy, we can shut the windows as well. Now, I think I probably would have chosen the blackout option if we were to do it again, just because at night there are some lights outside that are coming into the windows. So you can see a little bit of that. So if you want pitch blackness, go with the blackout shades and let's check that out in the kids room. So from the last room, I haven't adjusted my camera settings at all, but this shade right here has blackout. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So when we close it, you can instantly tell that no light is coming through the actual shade. And there, the only light that is peeking through is around the borders 
of the shade. And if we go ahead and close the rest of the shades in this room, you can see that it even gets so much darker. I just have a light right here so that you can actually see me. But this is the blackout shade. This works excellent here in the baby's room. If I were to do this again, I most likely would choose the outside mount and have it above the frame. So extending it all the way to the edge here. Now testing this out, when I did have a three inch overhang over the edge of the window, it did look like it was able to reduce the amount of light leakage, but still not 100%. So just know that about the shades, but the blackout is definitely going to offer a more full sun protection than the translucent or the sheer. Now let's talk about the fascia that you can order for the top of the shade. Now this is the fabric wrapped fascia and the color matches the fabric on the actual shade. Over on the side, you do have a few options to choose. This is the white color, but you can choose a cream or a darker color as well. Now on the battery powered option, all you do is pull the fascia down and here you have the options to replace your battery and then you can simply pop it back up just like that. Now let's look at some of the other fascia options. Here we have the architectural fascia. This is the white version. It also comes in black, bronze, and silver. This offers a nice, clean, modern design. To access the batteries, you just pull the fascia up and pull down, and then you have the battery tray at the top, and then you push it back up to put it back into place. Here we have the no fascia standard roll. This gives you a classic shade look. This is mounted inside mount, but you could also mount it outside mount right on the front, having the shade in the front, rolling down. And here you can see the battery cartridge and the roll is exposed. And so here we have the no fascia reverse roll. Again, this is inside mount. This could be mounted outside above the window and then you will have a little gap from the spacing of the window just because that's how the reverse roll works. The battery case is again at the top. You just pull down the front to access the batteries. And here are those different head rails with the blackout shade shut in the whole room. The blackout shades definitely offer extra light protection. Some of the fascias offer more as well. Now let's take a look at the smart wood blinds. It's hard to get away from the classic look of a wood blind. Now these feature a two inch slat. There are four different painted color options or four different stain options. At the top, you have two different valance options. Here we have the Morgan valance, or you can get the Easton valance. And then these are a cordless design. So there is no pull cord to adjust the tilt. That is the part that is motorized on these shades. They do not automatically go up and down. So here I'm able to close them and I like how tight they are able to close. It makes it so that it blocks quite a bit of light. There is still a little bit coming through. The kids have mentioned some of them do want to have blackout shades still, but I think it does a really good job. And then I really like how these blinds are able to quickly open and close versus the roller shades that have to wait to open all the way or close all the way. Let's open it back up and then I can also tilt it to the exact degree that I want to have open or closed. Well, can you open these all the way? Yes, you can. So all you have to do is grab down here on the bottom rail and lift up lightly and then it will open to the position you want. There are some pulleys in here to make this possible. So we can open it all the way and pull it down just like that. So it's nice that we have both options of opening and closing them without the cord and then it's super safe to have in the room. And then you have the option to tilt it with the Pico Smart Remote, the app or voice assistant and so on. Now let's go ahead and talk more about the valance. So up here at the top, we have our valance that is flush with the edge of the window. Well, mostly flush, that really depends on the installer. But some windows don't have much depth in the window. So if you have less than two and a half inches of depth, they will add a little kickback on the valance here so that you'll have this really nice clean look. I chose to have the flush against the wall here because we have plenty of depth in the window. So when ordering your smart wood blinds, make sure you add the proper depth of your window so that they can add a valance return if it's needed. So you'll have a nice clean finish look for your smart wood blinds. One feature that's included with the smart wood blinds is natural light optimization. This is going to take in consideration of the direction of your window and automatically adjust your blinds during the day. It's automatically gonna open them up a little bit in the morning. In the day, it's gonna open them more so you have the most light in the room. In the evening, it will shut them a little bit and then it will fully close them when you want them to close at night, which is a really cool feature to have. Now let's talk about the honeycomb shades. Now there are two different options for the honeycomb shade. First, we have this smart standard honeycomb shade. Now this is actually the first option that we ever put in our house and we loved it. 
Now these shades operate by going all the way up and all the way down. So you're able to have that full view out the window. Now I really like how these shades add extra insulation to your room. Now there are three different types you can get. First you have light filtering single cell, then you have light filtering double cell, which adds that little extra insulation, and then you have room darkening single cell, which is great for a theater room or down here in the TV room. This was great to stop the sun coming in when we wanted to watch a movie. Now when ordering these, you do have the option to add a back bar. This goes at the top of the shade to prevent light coming over the top of the shade. Now there are many different style options available for these shades. And then the battery tray is up here at the top that you can simply pull down, change the batteries when you need to, and pop it back up. Now like the other smart shades we've talked about today, these do have a quiet whisper of volume. You might be able to hear it from the other room, but not too much noise. And the other honeycomb option is the Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shades, which is the shades that I have behind me here. Now a few differences is these have a new bar at the top where there is no back bar needed, so there's no light coming over the top. And then these have a thicker cellular shade. So this is a three quarter inch shade versus the half inch you would see on the standard cell. Now these also are available in a single cell or a double cell configuration, depending on what you're looking for. And there are many different styles and textures available as well. As with the translucent smart roller shades, these still allow a lot of light to come into the room, but still giving you the privacy without anyone being able to see in your room. And then you do need to go through an authorized dealer to order these, so check out more details on the Serena Shades website. So that is the Smart Architectural Honeycomb Shade. Both of these honeycomb shades are great options. Now with so many different options available, I know that Serena by Lutron has the perfect window treatments for your home. If you have any further questions or wanna learn more, make sure you check out the link in the description below, which will take you to serenashades.com where you can see all the details. If you would like to learn more about the individual shade or blind options, you can check out my full playlist right here where I go in depth on each of them. And then you can also check out the video down here if you wanna see how to get them connected to the Lutron Smart Hub, the Pico Smart Remotes, or your favorite smart voice assistant. Thanks again to Lutron for sponsoring this video. They've been a great partner through this whole process as well as they have great customer service. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.